All right, 11 an escaped accused killer back in the slammer. A tip led BSO to the West Palm Beach Hotel where they arrested him. But some calls just led deputies in the opposite direction. CBS 4's Carrie Codd joins us live from the Broward County Jail to explain. Carrie. Yeah, Rick, that's right. Tonight, Deontay Rosiles is back in jail. Seven people accused of helping him escape and remain on the run are locked up. Deontay Rosiles returned to the Broward County Jail early Thursday morning after six days on the run after escaping the courthouse before a hearing in his death penalty murder case last Friday. Hours later, Rosiles was back in front of a judge who ordered him not to have contact with anyone. You're going to be isolated from the general population. Rosiles was not pleased. It would be unconstitutional as well as unfair to restrain and restrict me from being able to converse and talk and meet with my immediate family. But the judge was not swayed. Also in court Friday, the latest pair arrested accused of helping Rosiles, Paige Jackson and Francine Mezadu appeared before a judge. And Jackson's mother nearly fainted when she heard the proposed bond for her daughter. She was eventually granted a $50,000 bond in house arrest. Mesadu was held without bond. We asked community activist and former local NAACP president Roosevelt Walters about BSO's assertion that members of the community gave false information to investigators to try and prolong Rosiles' escape. Walters said he believes if it was a white person on the run, people might have done the same thing. He said it boils down to a lack of trust between police and members of the black community. If I don't trust you, I'm not going to tell you very much. But trust is not something that today you don't have and tomorrow you do. Trust is earned over a long period of time. And Roosevelt Walters told me he believes the way for that trust to begin being created is for officers who patrol African American communities to really get to know members of those communities so that trust can be built together. As for the Rosiles case, investigators tell me investigators are still looking into whether other people might have helped him escape. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.